Okay, so I want to take you through a campaign that we set up not too long ago. So I'm just going to pull up my reporting column. This is for uh, information product. Now, um, what we have here is our different levels of our funnel. I'm just going to bring these up so you can clearly see what we're doing. Okay, so first step of the funnel is we're basically trying to get them to the website. Um, so this is really just building like awareness and affinity, branding, all of that good stuff. It's a soft in, it's valuable content, it's uh, low cost to get people there. The second step is we're then retargeting with a tripwire. So this is a $17 tripwire here. The third step is we're sending to the sales page. And then the fourth step is we are retargeting anyone who um, engaged with that sales page at all. And there's like a whole sequence in there. We also have an engagement campaign here that you'll see. This is just actually boosting posts to our existing page fans. Um, and that's just to build top of mind awareness. Now, here's what's pretty interesting about this is if we go into this campaign here, which is our tripwire, and there's also like an upsell on the back of it. Um, what you'll see here under amount spent is our top audiences here is our page engagement. So people that engage with ads and posts, both on, on both pages that we have. And then uh, website, uh, sorry, and then website visitors here, uh, you'll see here the digital distillery one. If we're driving people to the website, it converts. It's our top performing basically ad set right now. And that's why we've rolled out a top of funnel, send pixel fires. Interestingly enough, <laughs> video views has not done anything. Um, this is a 75% viewed videos. It's a pretty big audience. Um, I tested video views out two months ago and I had the same exact results. So I don't know if this is just specific to our own funnels, but uh, video view campaigns top of funnel to a cold audience have basically never worked for us. Um, and you can see here when we segment out our warm audiences, it's just done nothing. And you would think it would do really well. And the same is true in another account uh, where we're also testing that out. So uh, here, um, basically, what this is telling me is if I can get really good high intent traffic uh, to the website, then it flows really well through the rest of the funnel. Now the problem was with this is I initially, let me show you here, had a campaign uh, that I set up as a conversion objective campaign because traffic objective campaigns to cold audiences tend to get you really bad traffic, just low quality traffic. So I, I set it up as a conversion objective campaign, and then I was optimizing for a, a, basically a custom conversion uh, of people hitting the website. And I was getting people hitting this for about 32 cents a pop, um, and we sent, I think, just under 1,000 people or something like that. So these stats looked really good, right? Um, but what we started to see is that our retargeting was slowing down and just not doing as well. And part of that is this is almost like running a traffic objective campaign, right? Because you're telling Facebook to optimize for people hitting the website. Um, but of course, that doesn't mean it's a high quality person or a tra you know, hit um, that you're getting there, right? Facebook knows the people that just browse or just click on lots of things and it will therefore optimize for that, not necessarily for buyers for your funnel, right? So what we did today, and this is what I want to show you, is on the digital distillery website. So James on our team set this up. We have our pixel and then after 10 seconds we installed a standard, a custom event, sorry I should say that um, is triggered after 10 seconds. So there it is coming up, popping up. And we switched all our campaigns now. This is what you'll see here. So that it now optimizes for that custom event. Um, and now what this means is that top of funnel, we're sending people to the website. We've got lots of articles, blog posts, sending them to pay the invoice, agency cribs, all of that stuff. 
And instead of just optimizing for people hitting the site, which isn't necessarily high quality traffic, we're now optimizing for people that have been on the site for at least 10 seconds. Um, so now this should be a higher intent individual. So this is what I would recommend for anyone doing sort of longer funnels or especially selling information-based products, warm up your audience a little bit and make sure that when you're warming them up, you're really carefully having a look at how the audience behaves in your retargeting. Because if it doesn't convert really well, it could be an indication that the quality of the traffic that you're building top of funnel is not that great. So don't get too hung up on how cheap your cost per views are, cheap your cost per clicks are. What you want to make sure is that you have an audience that will actually take actions further down in your funnel. I hope this helps, guys.